for me, it seems like the bigger your family is, the more you guys all want to cram into a smaller B van. Nothing has been working for families in B vans ever in the history of RVs. That is until they made a B van with bunk beds. This is the 2024 Coachman Cross Trail 20BH. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at this Coachman Cross Trail. Now technically this is a B plus motorhome, okay? Technically it's, it's a C. Technically it's <laughs> a C, but more there's so many technicals about it. This is a floor plan that can sleep so many people. Before we show everybody, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! Thank you guys for stopping by and seeing us at the Tampa RV Show. We enjoy meeting each and every one of you. Yes. It, believe me, it is a joy when you stop by to see us. It yes. Keeps us going. Absolutely. It was so great meeting everybody. And I do want to let people know, again, there are certain brands that we could sell here at the show. But if you were looking at, if you bought, looked at, or put a deposit down on an Alliance, on an Integra, on a Winnebago, a Tiffin, a Newmar, a grand design, anything that wasn't being represented by General RV, click our link down below. Let my team give you a quote. Worst case scenario, my team's going to say, hey, listen, the dealership X, Y, and Z gave you a good deal. And you know what? That's totally fine with me and us. Or my team's going to say, hey, we can beat that deal by 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Who knows? Reach out to my team if you did not purchase this week from General RV. And it really was an honor to meet everybody. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Model is Coachman Cross Trail 20BH. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet, one inch. The fresh water is 25 gallons. Gray water is 31 gallons. Black water is 31 gallons. And this does sit on the Ford Transit T350, which is a transit chassis. It's a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. 310 horsepower with a 156 inch wheelbase. This is going to be phenomenal. Andrea, this is phenomenal. It's a small B van. I love these. My hand to you. If we were somehow a, so that Andrea's right. There's no such thing as a B plus. It's technically a class C because it is on a stripped cutaway chassis. Okay. But the market definitely costs us a B plus just cause the profile. And if, I could park this in our driveway. I'd make this my daily driver. That's how freaking cool it is. Um, it just drives nice. It has the EcoBoost, all-wheel drive. Everything about this is fantastic. And notice the front cap. There's no seams in it. Look at these tires. They're the hand cook. Dynapros. 205-75R16C with some shiny-looking rims right there. Right here, we do have cameras. Right here, we do have mirrors without cameras because the camera is integrated right there. Why I love B pluses, Andrea. Look at me. Did you see that? I did. That much wider times two on both sides. But when you see how much space you get on the inside, so much better than a B van. Coming on down, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. So Andrea, there's so many advantages to the B plus. What are some disadvantages to the B plus? You ready? One, it looks like an RV. It can't be incognito like a regular van. You know what I'm saying? Two, as small as this is, you can't fit in a normal parking spot. You're going to have to take up two or three. Whereas a traditional B van, you can fit in those spots. Coming on down here. We do have our propane tank. And then Miss Jennifer, bing. Please put all the specs right there for everybody who's watching on TV. And then we do have coax power and a bracket for the outside. Coachman, they do use Asdell for their fiberglass. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Coming on down, you do have a propane quick connect on the outside in case you do want to have a grill on the outside. And very nice, a Fugatti instant hot tankless <laughs> water heater. I think you just like to say that. Dude, the mafia is back, y'all. <laughs> hey. So somebody from the Italian mafia is making is extorting the right. RV industry <laughs> and they're all like, Hey, you want protection? You we got want, Fugatti. You want all hard money loans? You better put the Fugatti water heaters in your <laughs> RVs. That's so funny. We can only speculate. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Right here. We do have a little bit of storage. Okay. It's very little, but 
Hey, some is better than nothing. Well, here's where it gets better. Stand off. We got right, a place right here, for the right stinky here. slinky on the bumper. Yep, 4,000 pound hitch. Don't tow anything behind this. These aren't made for tow. Tow like a little cargo trailer, like a little kayak thing. Bumper for the stinky slinky. Here's all your water hookups, potable water fill, potable. Potable. Uh, you guys know I hate outside hookups on motorhomes. But again, I'm, I'm actually not going to penalize this motorhome because of how, how it is. Uh, prep for the uh, ladder, the lipper collapsible ladder. And you do have a backup camera there. And then right over here, Andrea, look at this door opening. Is that not huge storage? Absolutely massive. And what's nice about these is both of the single beds, they do make bunks. We'll show you that a little later. But there's also these D-rings here. Right over here, as you can see. So you can use this as storage as you're transiting down. We'll meet you on the inside, Andrea. It's pretty muddy out here. So, and it's tight over here. And there's all these power cords. We do this for you guys, America. So while I'm on this side, you can see that there's a nice place to dump your tanks. Real easy to get to. Real streamlined line looking design. And you can see the bunk windows right there. 30 amp service right there. Okay. What do we got going on here? Here, oh, we have a nice big battery. Look at that, very nice. And then here, oh, more storage. Very nice, very, very simple design here on the outside. And then here's where you fill up your unleaded fuel. And then here's where you get in your cab and everything. It is very, very nice. Oh. What's up? Cargo carrying capacity. You might want to grab it over there. Where is it? It should be on the door, I think. Dry weight, 24-1. I do not see it on my side. Oh, man. It's always... They always like to hide the cargo carrying capacity on us. But look at the front of this. And the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Andrea, what's the cargo carrying capacity? Man, that's pretty good. Yes. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. So there's no slides in this, which is pretty awesome. All right, as you can see, it's like this 24-7. Yes. Definitely a good walkway. You can definitely open the refrigerator. Um, there is your bed. And here is the bathroom. Oh, is it a wet bath? Yep. Ah, okay. Very nice. And then come on up here and show this cockpit area. Okay. And Andrea, we're starting back here. Now I'm going to show you guys these bunk beds. And before I do, this episode is sponsored by us, Liquify. Our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we have orange and lavender and the easy to drop in pods. We are in partnership with Century Chemical. We didn't just make this in our bathtub. We're using a professional to make our formula and we have the absolute best. We've tested 15 different treatments. We've done the research to figure out that this was the absolute best formula. It's going to help eliminate odor and liquefy your waste with our blend of enzymes and bacteria. All you need is one to two ounces. You squeeze it and then you pour it in your tank or you drop in. We used to say one ounce, but now we say one to two because if you're in Texas or Florida in the summer, you're gonna want a double dose of that to help eliminate the odor. Go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle or Amazon. And thank you to everybody who's helped us support our business. We appreciate you. And you know what I appreciate even more, Andrea? What's that? Bunk beds in a yes, B-band. Yes, me too. So check this out. We got the door right here, the D-rings here, and a little bit of cubbies there, okay? These bunks hold a max load of 220 pounds. Look at this. So one... If you're a solo traveler, you can just keep it like that. And then two. Got an electrical outlet right there and a USB. Same on, same here yes. on top. Yes. Wow. That's a good, I mean, it's, it's a good length too, it looks like. Best. Yes. Now, I'm kind of pushing it. Oh, try not to get your shoes on the bed. Okay. All right, Very, so let me see. Well, well, there's plastic on the bed. Okay, so it's actually good. 
It's a good length. I'd say, I don't know, you're like 5'5". Five, five. I'd say it's probably like 5'7", maybe. No. Maybe. No. You don't think it's that? Six foot. Really? Andrea, I'm... I mean... I'm, I'm all... The... Yeah, that's true. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This is a really good size. It's got light switches. Here's where I can control my water heater. And even better, something I that I do screen. like... Oh, uh, Yes. You can have the door open and keep the screen door closed. You know what I'm saying? Such a nice feature. It is. And there is a ladder that goes to that top bunk right there if you need one. Yes. And when you're not using it, you flip it up. Easy breezy. That is so nice. Put your bikes in here. Yes. Over here. Is there a light in that wet bath? Oh, uh, there is. It's right okay. up here. So this is a wet it's bath. Very dark. Okay. Womp, womp. You know how we feel about wet baths, Andrea. But... Uh oh. Oh, wow. This is not a prime poop position. Womp womp. But you know what this is, Andrea? An airplane bathroom. <laughs> exactly. You got your toilet paper holder here. No, this is. Can you get that for me? This is the perfect motorhome in place of a minivan. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Definitely. Like, you want to bring your family of four, you want everybody to be comfortable. You're not really used in the bathroom, but it's like Here's for emergencies. Sink. Put your shower right there. Yep. And then it has a little liner that goes around. Yep, absolutely. You know, it's it's for emergencies and getting it done. So show us this oh, storage. Let's start right here. And the kitchen. Okay, so look, they're doing two tones in here too as well. So you got a nice uh, place here, wardrobe to hang your clothes. And then um, underneath, got, wow, that's wow. good storage. Yes, it is good storage for in here okay we've got the magic chef microwave yes a two burner induction cooktop okay they did their backsplash which is cute and then let's see these are like big drawers wow they are let's see, they're, nope not soft clothes but look i mean they're really good size okay and then over here we have some more counter space. I mean, oh, wow. Oh, cabinets. I didn't even know those lights were off. And, you know, you got a good sink here. A little bit of counter space. Okay. And is this open? Yeah. And then under here, we've got some more storage. Andrea, for a motorhome this size, oh, yeah, it's... this has some really decent storage. And then behind me, Matt, is the Norcold oh, compressor. Oh, yes. no, it's like a little. This is really tiny, though, huh? Look, they got a little freezer here. Again, in Class C world, this is a small fridge. Little drawer. In Class B world, it's a very nice size fridge. Yeah. And then, um, no valances in here. No valances. But Andrea, the windows. I, I love them. Approved. Bing. Oh, Andrea loves those windows. I do. I love that. They got the daytime and the nighttime. Yes. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $165,902 MSRP. Sale price, Miss Jen, please put the sale price right there for everybody who's seen, who's watching on television. I don't know what the sale price is. Uh, this unit's actually not on our website yet. But Andrea, guess what? We do have a couple 2023 leftovers. That's good. So if you're interested in a 2023 leftover... Uh, MSRP is 160963 and we have that one 38% off to a sale price of only $99,995. And Andrea, I don't care if you get that leftover at that or the current model year at whatever the sale price Jen said. I know we can get everybody the absolute best price in America. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and they will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, check out this living room. Have you seen anything like it before? I have. I've seen this floor plan, I think, before. But like other than this floor No, plan. no. Yeah. Uh, this is great. I love the sofas together. So before I show the cabinets, if you step back a second, you know why they do this, right? Yes. This is for the paying customers. Right. So then it makes almost like 
I don't know, maybe a full size, maybe a queen. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe a full. Isn't this nice? Yeah, and it's a lot more comfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah. It really, really is. I'm not trying to get my feet on it, but you, you, you see the length? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so good for tall people. So if you're a family of four and you're trying to live that van life, mom and dad sleep here. The kids sleep on the bunk beds. Believe it or not, those bunk beds are for the non-paying customers. And the sofa is for the paying customers. Isn't that wild? It is. And it gives you like a lot of seating space in here for just a little motorhome. Oh, with yeah. no slides. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not only that, in the sofas, you can get those um, little trays. Yep. And they would go in here. Exactly. And then look at the nice cabinetry. And we'll start right here. How do you like them? All right. And I think they lock too, don't they? So they yes. don't, they're not going anywhere. Yep. You hear yeah. it click. So, yeah, the way it works, is if you look right here, and hang on, watch this new camera. So now. Oh, nice. You see it click. Yeah. So to get it open, right? Like I can't pull it. You I have, have to, to push that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the limitations of the new camera are unreal. You good? Yep. All right. And then, um, and then right over here is our place. batteries. You saw that big lithium battery. You got the Renogy. Really nice system. So this unit can run a little bit without the generator, but you do have the generator as well, which is very nice. So this is good for boondocking and going off the grid. And then right here, look at this table. So. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, all right, I don't know about that. <laughs> you don't think it's nice? Um, The TV, that's kind of in a decent place. There is no bunk, which is nice. Yes, and then there is storage on both sides, which is very nice. And then to end the video, Andrea, make sure you guys stick around because we're going to tell you three things we like and three things we don't like. But right here, I'm in the cockpit area of the Ford Transit. Andrea, this is like driving a van. There's nothing about this that feels like an RV. It's quiet. It's not the Godzilla engine. Right here, you can see all our camera screens. You got the transit screen, nice shifter right here. Here's our steering wheel. It's telling us how many miles per gallon we're getting. You got the power windows and everything, adjustable mirrors. Really, really nice front. Definitely one of the most comfortable. And here's what I love, right here on this screen, you're able to see, I don't know why it's not, sh oh yes, it's gonna show you the map for navigation. Come on, yep, here's the map for navigation. You got your radio, Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you want. How do you feel? Feels great. You know, I'm comfortable. I have plenty of leg space. I can definitely recline back, which is nice. Oh, too, yeah. Because there's nothing there. But I don't know why it's not going back further. I got the lever up. Try try to bring it up closer. Use your air. Maybe it's just, yeah, it's just jammed. <laughs> um, not only that, both seats swivel. Yeah. Oh, do they really? Um, Hang on. Do they not? I don't know. I don't they think don't, they do. I don't think they do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Both. That's what I meant to say. Both seats do not swivel. <laughs> we got cup holders up here too. Okay. Lots of lots of little bins up here. Yes. Very nice. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot the sofa was there. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. Oh. You, you falling over the sofa? Guys, I'm so clumsy. Yep. I forgot it was right here, and I literally just... Well, at least I sat, and I didn't fall on the floor. Right. Well, so, well, well, okay. What a great safety net. Yes. It's the, uh, it's the safety sofa. You okay, though? I'm good. I'm fine. Okay. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things that we're loving about this motorhome, three things that we're not liking. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Let's do three things we like about it first. Thank goodness. Do you have dislikes? I do. Okay. I don't. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, like number one for me is going to be the double sofas. Feel my eyes with the and they're comfortable. Sofas. Oh, I have to tell everybody something. Tell us, Miss Jennifer. We're working on improving the vlog. Okay, if you got not the vlog, but the but the show, we have a new intro. Ten out of ten would recommend Jen. 
did a fantastic job with the intro. We have a TikTok channel. Has almost a million followers on TikTok, guys. And they play back... Jen puts low background music in the uh, TikToks. Well, so on the video, the Nexus Ghost, Jen decided to put a little music in the background. Oh. <laughs> the amount of people that right. Saying they hate the music. 99.75%. We get it. She won't do it again. <laughs> but I think everybody owes Jen an apology because she got her feelings hurt. And you know, guys, we have to try new things. We have see to try how it new works. things. We, we want to innovate as well. So, you know, we appreciate everybody's feedback. That helps us out a lot. Yep. But remember, it's just we're just trying new things. And by the way, myself is different from Andrea. From Will right. and from Jen. But Jen is such a I sweet can, person. I can take it. I can take But. Yeah. Yo, you guys <laughs> are going crazy. Yeah. So, no more music in the background. But again, um, I am going to give a shout out to Jen because she's amazing. She is. We Absolutely. We love her and appreciate her. And you know what? We're always going to try something that new. We have to. And if you guys don't like any of the new changes, just let us know. But don't throw daggers. I mean, <laughs> we're throwing daggers and battle right. axes. Don't worry, guys. It's not they, a permanent getting, change. They, 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 were, they were getting the chainsaws out. <laughs> they okay. were just afraid it was going to be like that forever. Just trying new things. We love hearing your feedback. Definitely. Okay. So what were we on? Uh, talking about how much you like the sofas. Okay. Love the so Like number one, Andrea. I love the double sofas. Okay. Um. Oh, one last thing. Somebody said the background music was worse than my singing, and I know my singing. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But, um, yeah, the double sofas don't do our... I love the double... I love the double sofas. Okay. And I love how they actually form yes. out to make the adults bed. That's number one. Andrea, like number two. Like number two, I am going to go here. I do like the bunk bed. Yep. I like that they both flip up. I like that we have the door. Just, you know, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's like number two. And then Andrea, like number three for me, I am going to say I, I do love the Renogy battery system here. This is going to be able to run your air conditioning for a little bit of time. But this isn't. So what kills me about the these systems is so many brands, it's like one or the other. Like this still has 30 amp. It still has a generator. And it has the Renogy system. And it has the chassis batteries. So there's multi. There's omni different ways there's to ways power. to keep it going exactly yeah and i love that too and just the size of this and i'm gonna combo that with the transit chassis it's pretty awesome andrea that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things we don't like about it okay andrea what's like number one i've been waiting for this okay so you guys that that corner cabinet over there i don't like it talk uh, to me it's my just like it takes up too much room if it's gonna be there i would rather it be a desk or pantry space a desk would have been really cool actually yeah it yep. Just... It could it could have been a solo desk. Yeah, for that, sure. That's number one, Andrea. Yeah. Dislike number two. Dislike number two always is going to be the wet bath. Talk to me. Uh, we're in a B plus, classy. I don't think we should have a wet bath. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I you totally know? understand why they did it. I am not a fan of it. Could have knocked one of these out. Yep. That's just, dislike number two. Even this whole thing and put a pantry over there. Andrea, what's dislike number three? Dislike number three. That was tough for me, but I am gonna say because I don't think the seats swivel. And uh -huh. I would like swivel and seats. Yeah. Yep, yep. The seats definitely don't swivel, and that was my mistake. I do apologize for that, but um, yeah, no, don't like the seats that swivel or that don't swivel. And again, especially a small motorhome like this, you want to have as much seating as possible. But again, the good news is the double sofas. You know, you're gonna have plenty of seats. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying this motorhome or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and get you the absolute best price in America. I would like to thank Andrea, Will, and especially Jen. Um, I actually don't show my appreciation enough on camera for everybody part of our team. I know it's called Matt's RV Reviews, but Matt's RV Reviews doesn't just mean me. It means everybody on our team. And I appreciate each and every one of them. And truthfully, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys 
who watches our videos. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. So thank you to everybody. If you want to give anybody a hard time, this guy's fair game because I dish it back to y'all all the time. <laughs> but um, just be extra nice to Will, Jen, and Andrea. Oh, no, no. I, I expect our viewers to be totally, totally fair with me. And they always have been. And I appreciate them. Perfect. And Andrea, their opinions. What do you say? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. So uh, please leave your feedback down below. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Jen, cue in the outro music. We'll see you next time.